Greetings, everyone. This is Collectible Euphoria with a review of another new addition to the line of Mini Animators doll collection, the Belle Mini Doll Playset, which is an exclusive Disney theme parks merchandise. Belle comes in her signature blue and white outfit, but in her mini form, and she comes with a wide array of animal friends, accessories, as well as the inclusions of Mrs. Potts and Chip. Stay tuned. Packaging comes in a clear snap case in the front and a mustard yellow plastic case on the back. The yellow handle is packed with glitters and the design is character specific to Belle which includes the rose detail which is a symbol of the enchanted rose as well as the floral filigree patterns. At the lower right hand side are engraved letterings stating Disney Animators Collection. Just like all the mini doll play sets, it comes with a tag with her name on the front cover as well as a sketch design of her mini self. Opening the flap reveals a promotional image of Philippe indicating that his head bubbles and the synopsis of the animator's collection line. Since this is an exclusive Disney theme parks merchandise, it is more expensive than the other mini doll play sets retailing at $26.95 as opposed to all the other mini doll play sets which retailed at $19.95. Belle's mini self closely resembles her future self and is a good representation of what she may have looked like during her childhood days. She has a long, brown, shiny hair, which is soft to touch, is parted in the middle, with some sections of her bangs falling in front of her face that slip loose, and also some sections on each side of her hair are twisted, then tied in a low ponytail using a clear elastic. It would be nice though if she also came with a blue bow just like the inclusion in Belle's doll costume set. For film accuracy and to help complete her look, I took the hair bow inclusion from Belle's doll costume set and used it on her mini self instead, which is a perfect match to her blue outfit. As for facial details, the shape of her eyes is captured correctly, though this time her eye color doesn't match since the iris is brown and should have been hazel. She has puffy cheeks with a pinkish blush resembling the pinkish color seen on the cheeks of a child and she has a light pink glossy lips with her lips parted slightly in a smile with her teeth showing. I like her facial expression in here which shows her innocence and playful smile nicely. She stands at about 5 inches tall, same as other mini animator stalls. As for her clothing, she dons her signature blue and white outfit, though slightly modified from her classic doll outfit. The collar is different since instead of a shawl collar, she is given a puritan collar with lace trims which is continued on the edge of the skirt. She has a bishop sleeves with a garter by the end of the sleeves. She also has a narrow white ribbon across the bodice dividing the bodice and the dirndl skirt. The entire outfit is packed with glitters and is secured with a velcro closure on the back. She was also provided with a black Mary Jane shoes. Articulation-wise, Belle can rotate her head at 360 degrees, as well as a shoulder joint which can also move side to side. Above her belly button, she has a waist swivel that can completely rotate 360 degrees. She can move her leg forward, backward, and some degree of side-to-side -side movement. She also has knee bending at about 90 degrees. Standing beside her future selves, Belle appears to be on perfect scale at 5 inches high with a 2013 classic doll and the 2015 classic doll from the Palace Pet set, all standing at about 12 inches high. Animals included in the set are Philippe, a sheep, and a pig. Accessories includes an open blue book, a woven basket, three loaves of baguettes, a golden curry comb, a yellow hairbrush, as well as characters such as Mrs. Potts, 
and chip. The set has the most inclusions, with a total of 10 inclusions comparing to previous releases, which only usually have 6 to 8 inclusions, probably to help justify the higher price tag that goes with it. Philippe's animator version pretty much resembles Maximus from Rapunzel's set in terms of facial profile, with its pointed ears, oblong-shaped face and eyes, as well as semicircle muzzle, though Philippe's facial features are longer and wider than Maximus. He has an overall camel brown hue, with a chocolate brown muzzle and a tan brown hooves, and he is completely packed with glitters. The main difference between these two horses is Philippe was given a horse dance while Maximus sits on the floor. Another thing I really like is the addition of synthetic hair for his mane and tail, which is light strawberry blonde in color. It is slightly stiff due to the gel that helps keep the mane and tail shape. According to the description tag, his head bubbles, but the movement is far from described since the head only bends forward and back and doesn't bubble like Bruno's head from Cinderella playset. Despite of its misleading description, I still like Philippe's animator version. The sheep inclusion has a cute sculpted details and is also completely packed with glitters except for its face. The sheep is a culprit for eating a portion of the page of the book Belle is reading while sitting on a fountain in town. The pig is also sculpted well, and just like all the other animals in this set, it is also completely packed with glitters. It has a baby pink color with light brown hooves. The pig was seen when Gaston threw it to LeFou out of frustration after Belle rejected him making him fall on a mud where this pig is found. For accessories, the woven basket has more film accurate details in terms of color and sculpted details, which are finely executed as opposed to the inclusion in Belle's doll costume set. It is also made of slight pliable materials. The set also comes with three loaves of baguettes, which cannot be detached. It has nice sculpted details, and this bread has a very short screen time in the film, and Belle did not even have it on her basket, which I guess is just an added accessory for her basket in the set. The open blue book is very film accurate with its color, as well as the picture and incomprehensible writings on it, and this is the exact page that the sheep chew when Belle was showing it to the sheep. I really like how detailed this book is, and how movie accurate it is. And my only complaint is its scale. It is way too big to fit on the basket, and even wouldn't fit on the basket included in Belle's doll costume set. The gold curry comb was not seen in the film, though I still like it added here since it gives you an option for brushing the mane and tail of Philippe for added playtime enjoyment. The yellow hairbrush has the same detailing on other sets hairbrush and is a standard inclusion for the mini doll playset line. As for film characters, Mrs. Potts has simple sculpted and painted details with a purple colored lid, with yellow detailing on the edge of the lid, and a pink knob. The eyes, spout, and lips provide her facial details. She also has a handle, and her body is white smoke in color. The purple, yellow, and pink detailing is continued on the base of her teapot. As for Chip, he has a yellow detail on the rim of the teacup, the handle, which serves as his nose, and the edge of the base, just like Mrs. Potts. He also has the same base details as her mother. His facial detail is simple, but cute, and of course, he has a chip on the rim area which his name is derived. This Belle mini doll playset sums up all the mini animators collection line in a set and is a must-have for any Beauty and the Beast fans as well as the mini animators collectors. The set comes in a variety of animals, pets, 
and characters, and all have good sculpted and painted details on it. Unfortunately though, this set is only available in the Disney theme parks as of now, making it costly, but can also be purchased on the Sharp Park apps should you be interested. The snap case is a clever addition since it offers storage for on-the-go fun, but just be wary that the snap case is not strong enough to secure the inclusions, so I would suggest for you to keep the clear plastic that helps secure the snap case in place. I highly recommend this doll for doll collectors, Beauty and the Beast fans, and Disney enthusiasts in general. Have a magical day! Bye!